what is up my beautiful ig fam today i want to talk about why women don't bounce back after having a baby this is one term that i absolutely hate because i feel like women are so pressured to bounce back so fast juggle this mom life juggle a household and then almost forced to stay on top of her shit and it's very overwhelming so first things first I don't want you to stress. It took nine months to create a life and it's going to take some time to get this weight off. But I'm going to hit on some key points on why you are probably not seeing results after giving birth. So I gained 42 pounds during my pregnancy and within eight weeks, I dropped 54 pounds. So I already know my body very well. I know what foods work best for me. I know what foods I need to avoid that slow me down, get me bloated, hold back my results. Um, I know the workouts my body responds to very, very well. And if that's something you wanna know, feel free to head on over to the link in my bio, book a call with me and we can help. I can help you figure that out so you can have that long-term success very easily. Um, so let's dive into these topics of why women don't bounce back. So one, this is one thing a lot of people don't know is after you give birth, you actually do go hypothyroid and it can be anywhere from six to 12 months. Um, sometimes after that 12 months, your thyroid never goes back to normal. So with hypothyroid, there are some things that can really affect your weight loss. Um, so that goes into my next one too. Make sure you're eating the proper foods. If you have hypothyroid and you're eating a ton of broccoli, you're not gonna drop weight. And now let's talk about some workouts. <laughs> so last but not least, if you have hypothyroid and you are stressing your body out under you know, interval cardio, hit workouts, that's gonna make sure that you just don't drop any kind of weight. Like you're just gonna be chilling right where you're at. You might even gain some weight. <laughs> and that's not what we want, especially when you're putting in that hard work, that effort. So I want you guys to be aware of that, be mindful of that. And if you want to see what you need to be doing, head on over to the link in my bio, book your call with me. We'll be on Zoom just like this, but I get to see you too. Um, to really hack, biohack your body and make sure you understand what works best for you. So now that I've told you what to watch out for, I'm going to tell you what you should be doing. So one, avoid foods that affect hypothyroid. Sorry, I keep looking at my eye because I'm like, what is going on right here? Um, so avoid foods that affect hypothyroid. Two, eat foods that'll help balance out your hormones. And three, find workouts that are nice and steady and good for your body to make sure you start burning that fat nice and slowly and not under a ton of stress because let's face it, Motherhood's already very stressful. So if you're under a lot of stress, it's very, very hard to burn fat. And a lot of times we think, oh, I wanna lose weight, so I just better go do these HIIT workouts and that's what's gonna work. No, it's not what always works, especially if your thyroid's out of whack, if your hormones are out of whack. So be mindful of that. Make sure that you truly understand what's going on with your body. A lot of times women will go to the doctor and hey, you know, like I think, I need my thyroid tested. And sometimes the thyroid doesn't even show up on the test. I've had clients that, you know, oh no, my thyroid's fine, but you know, I've been doing all of this. I'm not seeing results. So I just treat them as if they have hypothyroid. And within that first week, it's like five pounds down. Like, so don't feel defeated. If you feel like you hit a plateau, you're stuck, anything of that sort, try those simple tips. Let me know how they work for you. And if you need anything, like I said, head on over to the link in my bio. Let's jump on a call and let's dive deeper into your goals to see where you need that support. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Go be mommy bosses. And if you need support as a mom, I do have a Facebook group. It's Mommy Boss Weight Loss. And it's honestly, we talk about sleep training, relationships, food, baby products, like baby hacks, all that good stuff on top of health and fitness. So go check it out. Head on over to Facebook, join my group. So I love you all, I appreciate you all, and I hope you guys have an incredible day. Bye.